Hey guys, so I just wanted to do something a little bit different while I'm taking a break from filming my series and uh, take you guys behind the scenes of a real Django website that I'm building and go from the idea to the thought process and the production, some of the tech stack that I used and uh, just kind of make it an open book for now. And I don't know if I'll make this into a series, but just wanted to give you guys that inside look. So let's start with the idea. So the idea was as I was filming my series, um, my e-commerce series, I wanted to provide a product that I can um, have as a premium product that I can upsell and add some revenue to what I'm doing. Right now I'm running on YouTube ads, but that's not nearly enough to actually sustain what I'm doing. So I have savings and I need to add a product. So the idea was to add a product and I originally was thinking about doing something in a PDF form and creating some kind of guide that I can add along to my videos and just upsell that way. And that's what I started with. So. I started out building this guide and it was just step-by-step -step instructions with my videos that you can purchase and then follow along with, make it a little bit easier. That quickly turned into a website because um, as I was thinking about that, I didn't want to provide a massive PDF for my users or viewers. And I didn't want you guys to have to scroll through a 70 page PDF. And um, it also wasn't really feasible to make things dynamic. So for example, if I wanted to add something, edit something, uh, I can't do that to a PDF once it's sent out. So I realized, okay, I need to create a website and I'm just gonna make this a one, uh, one page website that's gonna allow users to log in and I'll just create some restrictions and you guys can follow it there. So let's go ahead and look at it. So this was the site. Originally, again, it was supposed to be a one page website, but I decided to put this into modules and break this up into multiple sections for you guys to be able to uh, go through as you're building. So it really developed pretty quick. It's not too difficult of a website to build at this point, but this process right here and putting together these steps right here, um, I did have to start really adding in some JavaScript and really building that out and making it more dynamic. But for the most part, it was pretty simple. So I actually stopped filming or I stopped scripting and started working on this website. Now, this website is pretty simple, but putting it together from idea into production within a week was uh, definitely a little bit of a challenge. And because of that, this is a, an example of something that I like to show you guys or just explain that um, you don't always have to have the best product out there. Sometimes you just need to get something out and get something to market so you can get feedback right away before you spend a couple of months building something that may not sell or just might have a lot of issues with it that you could have gotten back from users early. So within a week, I scrambled, put this thing together and just made this a multi-product website. So if I go back to the homepage, in that build process, I actually decided to make it a multi-product website. So whenever I come out with another series, you're gonna be able to see that series appear down here and you'll just see all of the modules and I'll continue to adjust from there. But um, I did that and then I locked some of the modules, I made them premium and that was a cool little feature that I built in. But um, once we have the initial product, we're able to just open up the modules and see everything. So this is a, if you look at the back end, I'm not going to go through the back end too much just because it, I don't want to, it's a live site. So I don't want to expose any security flaws in or anything like that, but uh, it's a pretty simple site. And you'll notice that as I built it, remember I built this within a week. So I didn't have time to wireframe everything, build out the ideal platform. I just put this into one app. So um, as somebody that's putting out real websites, I know that I'm not the best developer, but I did, um, as somebody with a little bit more experienced, this is a big flaw right here. So I just stuck everything into one app as I was building it. And you can see that I have my user registration all within my main app. I have all of my pages, everything just kind of get, gets put into one app here. Also, you can see that I'm using Jinja here, which I normally don't use in my Django projects. That's um, something that I usually use React for, or I build out that REST API, I use a lot more JavaScript, but um, just to get the site out and not focus on the little details, I just wanted to put something out. So I made it in a way that wasn't necessarily ideal. So again, I'm trying to produce a product and get feedback before I get into it. So the plan here is once I got the product out, or once I get it out and I get your guys' feedback, which I'm getting back right now, is to uh, take in as much as I can, get back all the bugs that were in it, uh, the user flow, just ask you guys how that process is going, and then eventually go into uh, a full rebuild. So I actually rebuild my projects probably uh, maybe 
three to five times, I think, I always build out the product and then I go through revisions of it. I keep cleaning it up, I keep making it ideal. So um, for those of you that think that you need to build the ideal product right away, build that out in the best frameworks, sometimes you just need to get the product out there and see if it works. So for now, I'm just getting your guys' feedback and I have this uh, checkout page, this res registration page, and I've gotten some comments on how I can make this better, but uh, I also am working on the checkout flow. So I'm gonna log in right now, and if I go into, um, actually I can log out and go to the payment page. So as you can see, once I log in, those are unlocked, and once I log out, they are now locked. So this is my payment page. I really had to think about the design and make this a little bit more salesy right now. Um, a lot of people are thinking that it's $12.94 for each module. That's not the case, so as a designer, and just as a UI designer here, I really need to think about that, make this a little bit more clear, and probably define what you're getting when you purchase this, because there's a lot of confusion here, so this is the behind the scenes of my thought process in this, and the flaw of building it really quick, but yeah, I just really need to beef this up and uh, fix up a lot of things, and also, when you pay here, you get redirected back to a PayPal checkout option, but once you pay, you get taken back to the project homepage and you don't get redirected to, or you get, you get redirected back to the main website, but not to the project. And that would probably be ideal is to redirect the user back to the project that they just bought. So that's a little flaw right now. And I'm definitely gonna make sure to take care of that. So for marketing this thing, I remember I put out a video on the website that I sold for 40K. That's a, I'll just link it up here if you haven't seen that. But um, I've had people ask me how you can sell a website, how you can market it. Um, I'm not really into that. I don't know myself that well. I just know that I have an audience. So the audience that I'm marketing to is the channel. So one of the things that you should think about if you're ever putting together a website is who are you gonna sell to and um, can you build up that audience or can you buy the audience? Can you find somebody that can help you market that? And you need to have the product that is good enough to sell and you also need to have the audience to market to. You can build the best product, but if you don't have the audience, you're not gonna be able to sell the service or the website to anyone. So uh, think about that if you're, uh, if, you're, if you're trying to sell something, but that's my marketing plan is to use my audience to, to continue to provide a bunch of free content, but just to add in this premium little, premium little feature here. So for the tech stack right now, um, I'm just using basic Django. I do use a, um, one of the modules that I did use here is a rich text editor. That's something that I installed, but uh, nothing on the front end. I use very little JavaScript. Again, the only JavaScript that I use is for the sidebar, but it's pretty, uh, pretty simple right now. I have a Postgres database on AWS and I use Heroku, but I am considering using AWS to also host the website using EC2. So um, I don't know how I'm gonna take care of that, but uh, once I go through the, the, through the revisions and I get your feedback, I'll start uh, changing things up there. And other than that, it's pretty simple. So um, I don't know if I'll make this into a series. I don't know if I'll ever share the revenue from it or anything like that. I am making sales, but um, I just thought it would be cool to just show you guys a, a smaller website. I know it's nothing crazy, but give you guys behind the scenes and get a little bit more personal with you guys because I know that I can't really reply to comments that often anymore. I get flooded with those and I just feel bad for not being able to share a little bit more and uh, get connected with you guys. So let me know if you guys want to see more, if you guys have more questions about it, um, just leave them in the comment section. I do read them and I'll see if I can just continue this and maybe share the next steps in this and how I advance this to a React in the framework or how I use React in the front end and um, just do things like that. So let me know and I'll see you guys in the comment section.